Hey everybody, before we get to the video, it is the beginning of May and I just wanted to give a huge shout out to all of the teachers. It's Teacher Appreciation Week. I am so appreciative to all of the teachers I've had in the past that have touched my life and make me or help make who I am today. And so for those of you that are just busting your rear end, doing all that you guys can for students, making learning fun, um, definitely all you robotics teachers, um, I'm just gonna give you a huge shout out and just say thank you for all that you do. Um, I, know, I just have teachers from all over the world that just, I know you guys are making a difference and the students just love you guys for that. And I just wanna tell you that I appreciate you. So I just wanted to take time to say that I appreciate you guys. And it's just, it's just one of those things where, you know, the kids, that's the reason why we're there, to help them figure things out. Just, you know, have that confidence knowing that if they come across a problem, like we always teach in our class, you know, you take a step back and you just kind of weigh out your options. You know, how do we get things done? How do we solve these problems? So that's what I love about teaching robotics is, you know, we just see real world problems every day. And, you know, we tackle them head on, whether we get help, whether we figure it out on our own. It's just a great learning experience for everybody. So big shout out to all of you teachers out there and parents and everybody who just a part of the, you know, just getting our kids, students to just be the best they can be. So I appreciate you guys. And now back to the video. Hey, everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Dehino with Missing Those Lego Robotics. Today's video, I have a revolving or a rotating billboard robot to show you. So if you want to see that, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Okay, guys, so I've always been a fan of rotating billboards. It's just really cool to advertise for something and then on of a flip, it just flips into something else. So I've always watched that. I've always been fascinated. So this is another one of those robots where I'm like, I'll bet you I can get my robot to do the same. So today I'm going to show you how I built it and then show you what it looks like. So let's go. Okay, this was super easy to build. Um, it's just a bunch of the picture frames put together. And then I wanted three large motors to be for the rotating billboard here. So I just have these guys plugged into B, C, and D. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you how I set it up uh, to have the actual billboard uh, rotating on this robot. Okay guys, so I just used three picture frames with two black connectors and I just go ahead and we'll place them into the motor like this. Obviously making sure they're all facing the correct way. Like so. And so that's going to be the rotating billboard uh, without the pictures on it. So all I do is I hop on the internet and I just print out the pictures that I want to use for my billboard. And the big issue is making sure that all of them are the same size. I made the mistake of having some a little different size than the other. And so what happened is when this thing rotated, it would hit each other. So having it rotate um, without hitting each other, I just uh, cut out a six inch piece of paper with the advertisement on it and I just made sure to cut each one two inches long. So this one's going to be two, two, and two and that way I can guarantee that this is going to rotate correctly. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Okay everybody, so there it is. And yes, I gave myself a little plug here. This is the Hino Robotics billboard. So I have my Hino Robotics logo and then you remember when I made my YouTube play button? and I have myself as a cartoon right there. So all I did was I took the graphic here and I just put it on my computer, made it six inches long, and then just cut, cut it into strips of two inches wide. And I just have them on uh, pieces of index card. It's just one of those things where when you use glue, it's hard to keep it straight. You can see how it's kind of bent, but if you're looking at it from this way, it looks okay. So. What I have this program, I have it on a five second wait block. So after five seconds, it will rotate to the other billboard. So if you can picture yourself at a baseball game or a football game and the crowd is cheering. And after they see the Hino Robotics billboard, they will see the next billboard rotate.
And ooh, I gave Lego Mindstorms a plug there. No, they didn't give me any ad money for that. And then it goes back to the Hino Robotics billboard. And back to the Mindstorms. Yeah, look at that. And so, you know, if you guys give me enough money, I'll put your ad on my rotating billboard here. I'm just kidding. But it's just a really cool working robotic billboard here where we're advertising. And, you know, if I was really greedy, I would have four sides and charge people more money to have my, their advertisement on my billboard here. But there you go. Let's go ahead and take a look at another billboard that I made. But let's see this Hino guy again. And these things are totally interchangeable. So when I want to change this out, all I have to do is, well, it's kind of hard with one hand here, but all you have to do is just lift out the picture frame. And then all I gotta do is insert the new ones, but I gotta make sure I put this in the right order. There we go, okay. So it's as easy as just making sure the motors are straight. That's all it is. Start the program, so I love M&Ms. No, nope, they didn't give me ad money either. And it rotates to a Disneyland billboard. And no, Disneyland did not give me any ad money there either. So M&M's and Disneyland. Yeah, that would be awesome to go to Disneyland and have some M&M's in my pocket. Okay, guys, so there you go. That is my version of the robotic billboard. I really like it. I just really love how, again, we can take things in the real world you know, because we, we have rotating billboards. And then get it to life in a real robotic uh, program like this. And, you know, with all of the mechanical hardware here to have that just bring it to life. Okay hey guys, so there you have it. I don't even know what to call it. I just call it my Lego EV3 rotating billboard. So it was just one of those cool projects again where I love to just take an idea that we can find out in the world and put it into a robot. That way our students can just see how, you know, the reality of how we can get rotating, moving items and just make all that happen. So. It was just a really cool project. Hopefully you can make something like that for those of you that are interested. And so 
you know, as we, you know, enter in, hopefully for those of you that, you know, we're, we're winding our school year down, hopefully we can see a really bright end of the tunnel for next school year. You know, we're, we're almost hitting the last month of school here in California. I don't know about where you guys are, but I'm just looking forward to being able to do robotics again. And that's the interesting part is what is that going to look like for next school year? But I'm going to just think positive, think positive as far as students coming back to school and just being able to now do robotics instead of virtual. I just, you know, anyway, I hope you guys are staying safe, having fun, you guys. And I just will see you in my next video. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Zega Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys? Take care.